What does Carson add to their run game now that, now that he's perhaps back this week? Uh, he's an elite back. Um, you know, the things that we've seen him do over the years is, you know, been some good things for him. Uh, but we, we prepare like um, like we prepare. Uh, we're, we're we're facing the Seahawks. It doesn't matter who they bring. We're facing their scheme. Um, we're prepared versus their scheme and continue to play our ball, continue to play at a high level, fly around, make plays, tackle. Um, and at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who's that running back, who's that receiver, who's that quarterback. We have to go out there and do our job. Chris, uh, you know, Matt was telling us about the play on the goal line where you and Drake kind of just swap roles there mm -hmm. at the last minute. But just as an example, why do you think you two have the best kind of chemistry inside so far what we've seen with all the different guys that have been there? Um, I can't speak upon on, on why it's the best chemistry. Um, I think it doesn't matter who's out there. I think we all have great chemistry. Um, it just happened to be, be me and uh, Devondre. Um, on that play, we kind of just made a quick little decision just to stay on our side because we know down there stuff happens quick. Uh, and we're both, everybody in the room has been taught to, Top both positions. So um, when that play was made, uh, we heard our call, and from there we just you know play your assignment ball, and I try to do my best, make a play. Hey Chris, uh, you know nobody wants to lose playing time, and when Jalen Smith came in, you did lose some playing time. How did you handle that? You know what was your impression? Were they telling you they needed something more out of you? And how much of a of a reflection was this last performance on you know a statement by you? Um, I think for me, it's just been I've, I've been trying to continue to get better um, each and every week. Um, I looked in, the, I, I've, I've watched the film that you know I, I've put out there, um, and I wasn't happy with what I put out there um, starting the season a little bit. Um, but as far as Jaden Smith coming in, you know that's, that's something I can't control as far as who they bring in. Um, you know Jaden Smith, he's been he's been an elite player over the years, and he came in did some good things for us too as well. So um, for me, I just I just. Keep my head down, keep working, um, try to maximize each and every opportunity that I get when I'm out there. Um, in this past game, I just wanted to go out there and show you know, what, I've, what I've been working on um, and play at a high level all game. So I feel like I did that, and I, now I just have to continue, continue to do that and be consistent with it. You, would, you say you, I'm sorry, would you say you were looser and just let everything kind of fly in that game? Uh, yeah, I think, you know, um, most of the season, I think I've been in my head a little bit too much as far as thinking about. Um, so many things, whatever it might be, um, kind of overthinking a lot of stuff. So this game, I kind of just um, one thing I did. One thing I, I usually do before the game is I, I prayed, but um, this week I prayed about just giving God giving me peace. Um, you know, letting letting me go out there and play, um, show what He's blessed me to do, and I think that's what you know it, it displayed on Sunday that um, I kind of just let go and let God. Same thing I was I was talking about last year, just you know let Him flow through me and have peace with it. Uh, go out there, play play fast, and let let, let the place come to me. Do you think that was your best game as a pro Sunday? Uh, I definitely do. Um, I felt comfortable where I was at, uh, moving around, seeing what I needed to see, having my feet where I needed to be, uh, play with great hands, great effort. Um, but like I said, I, I have to continue to be at that level on a consistent, consistent basis now. What does it feel like to stuff a guy at the goal line like that? That's a good feeling. I mean, um, that's something that everybody on defense, um, if you're a hitter, you want, you want that type of hit. Um, um, you know, I feel like, I still probably have some more in me that I could probably, you know, dish out to people. But as a play, you, you, you dream of as a kid, making that play in the NFL, live television, uh, goal line stand. I mean, there's nothing really better than that feeling. But at the end of the day, you, you get excited, you know, seeing your boys get excited for you. That's, that's, that's what I get excited for. And, um, you know, be able to feed off their energy, be able to give energy to uh, my teammates and stuff like that as well. So um, it's a good feeling. It doesn't, really, it doesn't really hurt as bad. You know, you'll deal with it later, get a massage, just a couple, couple other things. But... Um, it's, it's definitely a good feeling. Chris, obviously it all has to work together, all 11 guys, but when the two inside linebackers are playing like you guys are, what does that do for a defense, do you think? Um, I think it just, you know, it keeps us grounded. Um, you know, we having, um, you know, guys run around, make plays, um, be around the ball as much as possible. Uh, it helps anybody out. So um, for all 11 of us to be on the same page, um, go out there, do our job, communicate at a high level, fly around, tackle. Um, you know, we're really playing uh, some of our best ball right now, and we're still, we still preach that we haven't played our best game yet. So, um, you know, we're still trying to clean up the mistakes, still trying to, you know, make that one step towards where we want to be. So I think we're headed there. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's fun being a part of this team, being a part of this defense, and being able to, you know, contribute to the way that I have. A little off topic, I don't know where you just were, but um, just uh, the crazy kind of stuff going on with Odell Beckham Jr. right now. Did you 
hear it, where you guys are already talking about it, that he said the reports he signed, now they're saying Packers and Rams are the finalists. Uh, yeah, what did you think? Um, I was just in, I was just in my locker right now. I didn't I haven't got a chance to look at media right now yet. Um, I have heard a few things, but I mean it doesn't really you know affect what my job is at the moment. So um, you know if we have them, you know even better. If we don't, it doesn't change what we already have. We gotta keep you know keep our keep keep moving forward, know our assignment, and get ready for this game coming up. Over the last two days here, how how much have you guys? followed this we're obviously not in the locker room what's it been like in there have you guys followed this as you know as a group uh, I think I think the whole locker room has been locked in on the assignment um, you know we have a job to do uh, we can't we can't be so focused on another player that's you know coming might, might come here might not um, if he does great if he doesn't you know we got we have a job at task that we got to handle so um, I think the locker room's handled it pretty well um, just staying focused keeping us locked in and um, you know, the thing we talk about is just this game coming up. So um, playing our best ball and, uh, you know, getting back in the win column. Just wonder, Bobby Wagner could end up clinching another 100 tackle season this week. Just as a, as a linebacker yourself, just what does it kind of set him apart from the rest and how much you kind of admire this game from afar over the years? Uh, yeah, he's been, uh, he's been playing at a high level since he came in the league. Um, you know, Bobby Wagner is a, a player that I've, I've studied, um, you know, kind of come into the league uh, even more last year in the offseason. Um, has some of his has some of his games I've watched, and he's a person I try to emulate a little bit. Um, you know, he's 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 a person that uh, that's just has athletic gifts out the like he he can he can cover, he can tackle, he could you know he's he's seen things before they happen. So, you know, trying to just pick up off things I can I can from film is what I try to do. Um, you know, I love to meet him, uh, train with him one day, but he's one of those one of those players that he's gonna be around for a long time, and uh, you know, being a Hall of Fame for sure. Chris, you obviously known Jordan a lot longer than probably anybody around here. What, what did you take away from um, what he did the other night? Uh, I was I was pleased to see him out there. Uh, I think he did really well. I think you could tell each series, you could tell he started to get more comfortable. Um, that fourth quarter, he really started to feel, uh, you know, feel grounded where where, where he was at. Um, I wish we would have gotten the ball back, because I feel confident with what he would have done. Um, you know, but I, at the end of the day, I'm excited with the progress he's making each and every day. The the approach he's come with um, on, on how to handle, you know, adversity or whatever it might be. He's, he's, he's a player that, you know, stays, like I said, he stays even killed no matter what. So um, I look up to him in that, in that way as far as, you know, being, you know, so locked in and not worried about what's going on in the outside world that he can handle his tasks and not get rattled by anything. So I'm excited for him and, you know, whatever uh, his, his journey displays, I'm, I'm right there by his side. Anything else in the room? We got one from uh, Zoom. Go ahead, Sarah. Sarah and Nate, uh, Chris, what version of Russell Wilson are you guys expecting this week coming off the uh, hand injury? Uh, shoot, we're, we're expecting his best version. Um, I mean, Russell Wilson, he's a tremendous athlete, tremendous quarterback that's been in this league for a long time, doing great things. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that he's going to come out there and do the best that he can to you know, secure a win for their team. Uh, we just got to go out there and do and play our best ball. Uh, continue to tackle. Continue to uh, do our job to the best of our ability each and every play. Um, and if we do, I think you know it would be a good outcome. But yeah, definitely expecting the best version of uh, Russell Wilson.